For the anti-drug video, you're going to need a, a few things. You're going to need a 25-foot XLR cord. Our 25-foot XLR cords are taped in blue, so make sure that's, that you get the XLR cord. You're also going to need one of our shotgun microphones, and this is what the shotgun microphone looks like. And you're going to need a boom pole. We have a couple different boom poles. You're going to grab the boom pole that has the insert in it, and I'm going to show you how to put that together quickly. So you've got the pole itself, and then it also comes with a shock mount. And the shock mount is already mounted on a piece right here, and you're going to take the shock mount piece and screw it right on the boom pole. The boom pole is adjustable for height, so you can loosen it, you can slide it out up and down the way that you need. You're going to take the shotgun microphone and do this closely so you can see it. There is some webbing. And this is a shock mount because if any vibrations, it helps with the vibration. So I'm going to put that in there and you've got your shotgun microphone mounted down. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your 25 foot XLR from the TriCaster and it's going into the mic one input. I'm going to show you that on the TriCaster in a minute. And you've got your boom pole. Now as far as boom pole operation goes, and we might need a little more length here, you're going to want to make sure that you're right over the top of the talent and I need that tightened. So you're definitely going to need a couple 25 foot XLR cords. And you're going to want to keep that right above the talent, but you're going to want to keep it out of the shot. So out of the shot of the green screen. Since we're using the green screen for the anti-drug, you're going to keep it out of the shot. If your arms end up getting tired, you could probably do something like this. But for this, we're going to want to keep it right above the talent and get good sound. So I'll do a demonstration real quick on this and show you how, how it sounds. And if I, I can have it off to the side like this, that's good too. But if I have it like this, that's not going to sound very good or like this. You want to have it pointed right at the talent, but just out of the shot of the green screen. And so you're going to see the differences in sound. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is set up your audio for the TriCaster. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into the live view of the TriCaster, and this is what the live view of the TriCaster looks like. And you're going to go to your audio mixer. And I've got it set up right now, but I'm going to show you how that is. So you're going to click on this little wheel above audio one. And what we're going to do is we're using the shotgun microphone. And if you guys remember from the microphone lesson, the shotgun microphone was one of our couple mics that uses phantom power. So in our choices here, if we're plugging directly into the TriCaster and not going into a mixer, we're going to choose mic one, two plus phantom. We can change our gain. We can change an audio delay if we have to. We're going to go with that. And now you can see that I have sound coming in from the TriCaster. And I can alter this a little bit. And when we're setting audio levels on the TriCaster, we want it to go just to the red. And it's not letting me move up and down too much, and that's OK. So I'm going to pull that all the way up. That looks pretty good right there. So my audio level is just touching red, not quite. And that's how we're going to set my audio level for the green screen program. Now, of course, somebody else is out there holding the boom pole, and your audio levels are going to change here and there. So you want to set it up for that person's voice and kind of where they're at, and also how that person is holding the boom pole. So do a run-through first, set your audio levels, you'll be good to go, and then you'll have your audio set.